you want to create your first NFT collection, but you don't want to spend time learning how to code and how to use complicated software. In this video, I'll show you a website that lets you create your first NFT collection with just a few simple clicks. Hi, my name is Alex. And every time I show you guys how to create an NFT collection inside of Photoshop or Illustrator, a lot of you comment saying, well, what if I don't have Photoshop or Illustrator? Are there any other programs or software or maybe even a website that makes it easier? And I've looked around and I've found the perfect place for you guys. With this website, you don't need any knowledge in code or even fancy graphic software. You simply upload a few different layers and the website pretty much does the rest for you. Sounds like magic, right? But you know what makes you magical? If you hit the like button on this video for the YouTube algorithm to help me and my channel out. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, let's not waste any more time and jump over on the website I've talked about. The website is called ambition.so. So just type that in your browser or click on the link in the description. Once you're on the website, you'll see a button that says get started. So just click on there and well, get started. <laughs> Here you'll be greeted by another website that already has some familiar NFTs in the background. So just click on get started again. <laughs> now you'll notice that the top of the browser now says app. So this is where the magic happens. Let's start filling out the metadata that will later be very important to find your NFT collection once you've uploaded it to a marketplace of your choice. To begin with, you need to come up with a dope name. So let's put one in here. Then think of a good description for your project. And next you'll select how big your collection will be. So just put Put any number that fits your project and also your files. What I mean by that is that in the next step, you'll need to upload different layers that you've prepared beforehand. But don't worry, that's nothing to be afraid of. It's just the different compartments your NFT is made out of. So background, characteristics like eyes or mouths, stuff like that, that later get combined in every different way to generate unique NFTs. If you want to know more about the different layers that make up an NFT, just check out the first video I made about NFTs where I explain to you pretty much in detail. And also, you you can find out how to make an NFT collection inside of Photoshop. All right, enough of that. Let's continue. After you've selected your collection size, you have to select the blockchain for your NFTs. Here you can choose between Ethereum and Solana. In my last video where I talked about the steps you need to take to sell your first NFT collection, I've covered the Ethereum way. It's the most common one for now, but it's also the most expensive one since it has a lot of gas fees. Solana is way cheaper, if not free, but also not as widely common. So I just select Ethereum for now. After you're done, just click on next and you'll land on this page where you have to create your different layers. So now it's time to upload your pre-made NFT parts, like for example, backgrounds, faces, and stuff like that. For every layer, type in a name and click on the plus symbol on the right. On the right side, you'll see the different layers stacking up. The more layers and uploads you have inside those layers, the more unique NFTs can be generated. So keep that in mind when preparing the layers. Oh, and also when you draw or assemble the different parts of your NFT, make sure they actually line up later when the layers get stacked. The best way would be to assemble them beforehand on paper before scanning them or inside of your program before you upload the files. If you don't know how to create all those different layers, you could also just go ahead and find pre-made components like solid backgrounds, stuff like that. But of course, it's always way better to create original art that you made and that you came up with. So just upload all your different components on here. For the sake of this tutorial, I just use random ones and then click on next. Now here's the part that makes this website pretty cool. You can actually choose the rarity of those different components. So you might have seen on OpenSea before that it lists what part an NFT has and how rare in comparison to other parts and components of those NFTs are. So that is later the reason why some NFTs are more rare and expensive and valuable than others. Take your time here and dial in the different rarities for all those different components. And after you're happy, you're almost done. Click on next and it'll ask you to log in to download your collection. You can either connect your MetaMask wallet to log in or just create an account on the website itself. Whatever you do, it's very simple and it just takes a couple of seconds. The last step would be to click on generate collection. And here is where it asks you to pay the service. And it's pretty cheap. And if you think about how simple it is and how much time and frustration it saves you, it's very good pricing. <laughs> so just pay with credit card or crypto and you're good to go. Now it'll take a few seconds to generate all the different images and metadata and you'll be able to download everything. This is definitely the fastest and easiest way to generate an NFT collection. If we look through all the images, we see they look nice and clean and are ready to go on any marketplace. If you want to mint those NFTs through your own website, here we have all the metadata for each and every single image. Isn't it crazy how easy that was? If you want to also know how to generate NFTs on your phone, wherever you 
you are whenever you want check out this video up here where i explain it to you and also if you want to know how to sell your first nft collection step by step check out this video down here where i explain that to you if you like the video make sure to subscribe to have the chance to win one ethereum as soon as we hit 10,000 subs in this channel and we're growing quickly so thank you so much for that thank you for watching my name is alex stay smart stay safe and i'll see you next wednesday